Does your mom vape 24 hours a day, seven days a week and never puts it down? I grab my vape, I grab my vape. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're watching a video about a mom getting addicted to a vape. Um, to be honest, if you go to Kansas, you'll find plenty of those, but yeah, no, you guys already know my opinion about vapes. I think they're uh, pretty homosexual, especially since they were designed to be smoking alternatives when we don't even know the chemicals that are in them. They haven't done enough research yet. They, there's no way of knowing if this is actually better for you than a cigarette. So, I mean, hey, maybe the current vapors will drop dead 10 years from now. I mean, God forbid. But yeah, we got the Puff Mom going to tell us her story. I wonder if she can show us any tricks. I mean, hey, that'd be pretty impressive. Does your mom vape 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and never puts it down? No, not at all. Mom, if you're watching this video, I love you. I'm so thankful that you have a functioning brain. My mom vapes all day. She's always got her vape in her hand. I <laughs> swear, the clouds of smoke you blow are like ridiculous. I, I vape pretty much all day and all night. The first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I grab my vape. Did this mom not pay attention to the Tate wave? I mean, if we're keeping it real, she probably hated him, but... I mean, he, he made a really good point about people who vaped. BREATHE AIR! WHY ARE YOU SUCKING A USB STICK? BREATHE AIR! The way she was describing her morning. <laughs> I wake up every morning and I grab my vape. And if I don't find it within two minutes of waking up, <laughs> I just have a seizure. I grab my vape. I grab my vape. I'm sure a lot of you guys relate to this. You guys have those friends that just freak the fuck out when they lose their vapes. They turn into zombies, they turn into cockroaches trying to scramble around, trying to find it. These vapes have crazy pull on the youth. You would not imagine. I'm pretty sure middle schoolers vape in the bathrooms now. I remember back when I was in high school and the high schoolers were doing it, but now we have middle schoolers doing it. It's wild to me. I mean, I'm not really even sucking it down to my lungs. I just like the smoke part. I love to have my vape when I'm driving in the car. There was one time I dropped it and I had to pull off on the side of the highway. What did I, what did I say? She had to pull over? She could be driving to the hospital with a dying passenger. And if she drops her vape, <laughs> you're just gonna have to pass away. Cause I mean, hey, we know what the real priority is. The to reach underneath my seat to get it. My daughter is constantly on my back about my vaping. She has nicknames for me, and it's it's just getting ridiculous. You know, my daughter has a problem with me being a fucking retard. Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. Sorry. This is my mom, Faith God, a.k.a. Carissa. I have a vlog channel on social media, and I document moments in my life, and my mom is featured on there a lot. Hey. Hey. And I felt like I had to acknowledge it, because it's like, who else's mom is out here just vaping? It helps calm my nerves. This one's a good flavor, too. I feel like originally she did it to replace cigarettes, but now it's just such a habit, she just doesn't stop. I don't think vaping is as bad as cigarettes, so I don't know why it bothers my daughter so much. <laughs> she doesn't want to believe that it could potentially be dangerous. She's like, oh, I'm fine, don't worry about me, nothing's gonna happen to me. Fucking dies three months later. I don't feel like it's the end of the world or it's some kind of serious problem. It's just a vape. See, that's exactly the reason why I stopped vaping. This is based, I'd rather smoke a cigarette than vape. Just because I don't know anything about what's inside these vapes. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's the end of the world. It's just a vape. You don't know that. You have no clue. Overall, I think uh, I have somebody better who can take over this topic, and uh, I'm gonna let him do that. We got a special guest, Munoz, coming on the channel to cook. Yeah, he's gonna take over. So I hear you guys tuned in for part two here, Layup from the Poncho channel. Whoa! And I wanted to do a little recap as to what atrocity I'm gonna be looking at with my eyes today on the screen. So here you go. Does your mom vape 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and never puts it down? My mom vapes all day. I vape pretty much all day and all night. The first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I grab my vape. 
I can see why Poncho prefaced this video the way that he did. I didn't want to see it just as much as he didn't want to. I'd rather see two flies f***ing for hours long than to see a video just like this. You gotta put your head down and react to this video. I know you don't want to even look at a girl that peeking up bad habits that our women like to do today, but guess what? Anything for the content, right? Anything to make you guys happy. So we must keep marching forward just like our soldiers did when their buddies' heads got blown off and get on with this vid. It helps calm my nerves. This one's a good flavor. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? I feel like originally she did it to replace cigarettes, but now it's just such a habit she just doesn't stop. I don't think vaping is as bad as cigarettes, so I don't know why it bothers my daughter so much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you not seen all the studies of what vaping can do to you and people's throats being torn out basically by it? At 18, doctors say Adam Hergenrader has the lungs of a 70-year-old. <coughs> now the thing that gets to me is most parents want to set a good example for their children, not do drugs, not drink, not drive, not do vaping, and now we have this mother, this delinquent, that just decides to flip on the other switch and say, to hell with it. I mean, why act my age when I can act like an 18 year old and basically be an 18 year old again? This is biometrics, kids. Bypassing human biology. Biohacking shortcuts to a long life. If you act younger than your age, then you will live twice as long. Shut Oh, DD, oh, what is it? She doesn't want to believe that it could potentially be dangerous. She's like, oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Nothing's going to happen to me. I don't feel like it's the end of the world or. It's some kind of serious problem. It's just a vape. It's just a vape. It's not going to do any harm. If I put it on my desk, it's not going to kill no one. So therefore, it must be something good. Gosh, she's freaking... Oh, wow. I've literally met children smarter than her. Okay, Alexa, you're concerned about this. I am, because I feel like we don't know the long-term effects of vaping. But you, you don't do it. No, I mean, I've socially done it before, but I don't, right. it's not something I would just do regularly, no. Mama already got to her psyche, and in those times in which you're three bottles down of Pink Whitney, and someone hands you a vape, you had a reflection of your mother hitting the vape in the kitchen, and you thought to yourself, hell, why not? Just try it out. Let's see what all the buzz is about. And now you're known as the drunk blonde that decided to hit a vape at Michigan State University during the times of 3 a.m. to 4 p.m., which was caused by seeing your mother do it. This is bad parenting. Okay, and you've talked to your mom about it. I have, I've sent her articles. Couple I've hundred to her. times. <laughs> yeah, and I ask her all the time. I'm like, why can't you stop? Are you ever gonna stop? And what kind of articles are you sending her? I mean, I've seen articles of people, you know, that have something wrong with their lungs, they're in the hospital. Right, or ventilators, even... hospital, death. You've sent her all kinds of information about it, right? Right. And usually it's a child who is the one that's out here and the parent is saying, hey, you know, my kid's doing something self-destructive, they're ignorant of this, they're just arrogant thinking they're bulletproof. But we got a role reversal here because we've got the child bringing mom out here and you're saying, this is no problem. Luckily for me, I wasn't grown up with parents that had issues with addiction or anything in that matter, but I could imagine it as a son of a b ah! to have two parents, one in this case, to have one that strongly suffers with one simple addiction, because at this point, it's beyond her. You guys gotta realize that it is beyond her or else she would have made the decision to change, because as a mother, you don't wanna do anything that is bad in front of your kid. You wanna be the one that your child looks up to in times that he needs the most help. You wanna be the mother that your children ask you for any sort of recommendation because you know that they're gonna have the best source of input to help improve your life. But honestly, it got the best of her, man. And to any of you guys that do have parents that suffer with addiction, that's something that I will never just be able to, you know, bond with you with. But for me, I can say to you guys, stay strong and keep going on because this stinks. You're studying to be what? Substance abuse counselor. <laughs> Substance abuse counselor, <laughs> yeah. counselor, yeah. counselor. Yeah. Your child is laughing at you because you know that you are the least qualified person for that job. You're gonna be in the office with the children that are suffering from these conditions telling them, oh, it's okay, settle down now. It, this is what I do usually to ease the pain. Here's a vape. Hit this a few times and you should be good. If not, any time it comes up to you, just come to my office and blow some clouds. Uh, at least you guys know she kind of has some good intention behind this, but I mean, honestly, 
That's like me, Munoz, right? Going out to a firefighter station when I'm a classified, registered pyromaniac. I obviously don't belong there. I am obviously not going to do anything other than probably watch the fire burn. So I probably shouldn't do it. I'd maybe say look at other career options or put that on your resume that you can't stop vaping. Ironic. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. And you say, how far into the program are you? Um, not that far. I'm like three to six months. Excuse in. me, excuse me. That's a long time. So you're saying that they haven't mentioned anything about vaping. We haven't started that chapter. No. What do you guys think on a scale from one to ten, the likelihood of her passing this course? Yeah. They, nobody said a word about that. No, we really... Do they see you vaping? No, 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 no. <laughs> they don't see it. Well, you, but you do it all the time. You yeah, say no, 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 no. I do do it all the time, but I do like school online. So oh, when okay. I'm on school, when you're on the school, baby, it's high up there. Maybe you should get down and get in the school. I don't do it. Okay, so you don't yeah. do it where instructors can see you. Right, right, uh -huh. right. This sounds way too familiar. I went to high school, and I know we all had those guys that would just bunch up in that. Whoa, it is really raining outside. That would bunch up all inside the bathroom stall, like six people to a stall, and just start <laughs> huffing and puffing on those little mechanical devices until the shit was basically in the clouds. And do you think you're addicted to it? I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah. yeah. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Where the f are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. Because you say it's always in your mom's hand. I mean, it's literally in her hand right now. It's always in her hand, yeah. 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 Is that like a pacifier for you? Dr. Phil, I knew you were trying to make a smart remark right there and roast her ass. Come on, bro. Don't let that shit slide. Safety. Yeah, I think so. I just always, I've, now I've just got to where I do everything. If I don't have it in my hand, it's weird. Yeah. I, I pulled some statements out that you made about it that just threw out your interview that I thought were interesting. You said, it's just vapor and nicotine. What's the big deal? <laughs> no way vaping is as bad as cigarettes. <laughs> Maybe I'm immune. Yeah. I'm addicted, but I could stop if I had to. <laughs> Going to school to be a substance abuse counselor. <laughs> and I found that an interesting group of statements when I pulled them all together. Yeah. They look pretty interesting <laughs> now that I'm yeah. looking at them. It's just water and nicotine. Yeah. Um, but what do you think about the fact that it's nicotine? I don't really like nicotine. I didn't think that was like terrible for you. I mean, I know it's like addictive, but I know I didn't think it was like horrible for you. We just yeah. had the conversation. Have you, and you say you panic if you can't find that thing. Oh yeah. I'll go. I mean, if I don't you pulled have... over in traffic uh, the side of the road to get it when it went under the seat. Yeah, I did. I had to. Yeah. Tobacco is one hell of a drug and one drug that you do not want to start because once you start, it is very hard to pull yourself back out of that marina trench that you threw yourself down into. My overall consensus of this video, watching it throughout, man, I really wish that she can kick that habit. I really don't think she'll be able to. Maybe she got made fun of enough by her classmate, student, and everybody that she knows by by being aired on Dr. Phil for not wanting to kick a habit that her daughter so desperately is trying to void her against because she wants to have her mom there for her when she gets older. She wants to be able to bring her kids over and have grandma take care of them, look after them, watch them grow, and that's the overall idea of life there. But you know, if you keep smoking nicotine, it is going to damage you long term. I know everybody has done it, I'm guilty of it too. But picture this, you have your daughter wanting to bring your kids over and you just keep chucking clouds into their face. I'm never bringing my children over to her grandma. I'm just simply telling tall tale legends about her. Thank you Poncho for the layup. I want to give you a big shout out like if you even need one already and if you guys did enjoy my content, I am here to make videos for you guys and please you guys whether it's content regarding idiots like this, whether it's content regarding real life issues in the world, or just simply a skit or something to make you guys laugh. That's what I'm here for, and that's what I want to go down to the grave as, someone that always just made him laugh and looked up to. So if I go into the grave before her, I will be shocked. So don't vape kids. Hasta la vista. Goodbye.